Hello guys, hello my people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grace Mutiria and I post college videos related to nursing. So if it's, if that's something that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button. First off, I'm going to start with saying Happy New Year to you guys. I haven't said that to you yet. And I hope this year is going to be full of blessings and it's going to be a great year to you guys. And I am going to, I am really going to try to be a good content creator this year so let's go straight to the point today we um, I am going to be answering some of the commonly asked questions about KMTC and these questions are asked by students and just people who are just curious about so stay tuned the first question is how do I know if I am selected for KMTC? You see, after applying, you are going to be patient and they are going to send you a message in your inbox that you have been selected for KMTC to join KMTC. Then you are going to go to, to your portal and download your admission letter and also the other letters that show you, that tell you the requirements and everything about the school that you are going to. The second question is how long are KMTC semesters? Well, in IEA KMTC has three terms of 16 weeks each and we have two holidays, two weeks December holiday and that is usually when we have Christmas and Happy New Year and one month holiday during August and it's usually my favorite because I, ha I get the, to have the chance to go home for a month. Where do KMTC students sleep? Let me tell you. If you're lucky, most of KMTC colleges, they have hostels, they have hostels. So when you're paying school fees, you pay together with, with payment for hostels. And remember, hostels is not part of school fees. You pay hostels separately. But you see, like in our KMTC, it's still considered a new one. It's not yet developed, so we don't have hostels. In a case like that, you usually rent just around the school. You find somewhere that you can like a plot or just somewhere to live in and then you pay rent and you just move from there to schools yeah which is the best course in kmtc well in kmtc they usually rank nursing as the best course and then you have clinical medicine we also have pharmacology it's also ranked as a as a good good course and we also have medical laboratory we usually have a top five and i'm forgetting one so i am going to be posting one up here when i upload this video does kmtc allow dreadlocks hmm. does kmtc allow dreadlocks no it does not allow dreadlocks in men but in women in girls we are, we are allowed to have dreadlocks because you know we are allowed to have hair you know in kmtc men are not even allowed to keep hair you have to cut your hair short and there's there's also a lot of things that you're not allowed to to have you are not allowed to have barrettes you're not allowed to have hats we are not allowed to have jumpers that do not belong to the school or do not have the school logo. And the sixth question, question, can you transfer from one KMTC to another? Yes, it is possible. If you want to transfer from one KMTC to another, you have to write a letter to the KMTC CEO, who is usually in KMTC headquarters, Nairobi, and you have to write the letter via your head of department meaning if you are called to a, into a kmtc that you did not want to go to you have to be admitted there first for example if you are called to kmtc makweni and you want to go to kmtc nairobi you have to come to kmtc makweni be admitted start classes and then write the letter through your hod and send it to the kmtc headquarters via poster or deliver it or you can just deliver it yourself and it and you have to have a reasonable reason because it's not a must that you get the transfer if your reason is not reasonable you are not going to get the transfer obviously but it's possible and the seventh question do KMTC students get health loan? Yes, we get health loan. We are allowed to apply for health loan and it usually goes like this. We go to the health portal, we we register and we apply for the health loan. Then we take our documents to the Duma Center. And then if if you get uh if you get the loan, it usually goes directly to the school fees. We don't get 
money for upkeep you don't get money to your account for upkeep like campus students they they are paid for school some some part of school fees and then some some part of the money they get for upkeep but for us all of the money that the health is going to be giving you is going to be going directly to the kmtc account school fees yeah and we should, in a year we have like two semesters whereby we we pay forty thousand, like forty thousand each. That's not just it's not a direct fee. And then if they give you the for example nursing, we get forty thousand they pay for you for one semester and then you're going to pay you for yourself the other semester. That is in a year. So yes, we do get the help loan if you apply. Who is the owner of KMTC? You know, we have a lot of KMTC colleges and immediately you hear Kenya Medical Training College. You just know that it is 100% owned by the government. Can I change course after joining KMTC? Yes, you can change course after joining KMTC and the process is the same as transferring or going to another KMTC campus. You have to write a letter through your head of department to the KMTC headquarters and that is the KMTC CEO and you also have to have a reasonable reason send the letter via poster or you can take the letter yourself KMTC Nairobi headquarters and also another problem about changing course after already joining the college you have to make sure that the college that you're getting into has has that course if it doesn't have that course it's going to be a bit difficult yeah the last question and this is a question that disturbs a lot of people and it usually runs in the minds of a lot of people it never gets the real answer it brings a lot of arguments is kmtc better than university do you think kmtc is better than university Personally, I think both KMTC and university both have the negative side, the positive side. But what I know is that each serves its purpose. Thank you so much for watching this video and those who are 11 questions in case you didn't get that. If you've watched up to here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's meet in the next video.